the back of the tube. I scrolled through Facebook the other week, and I'm sure if you drive for Lyft or Uber, you have a bunch of ads going through your Facebook feed trying to sell you a bunch of stuff or trying to get you to like push their products. And 90% of them are a jump, but this one right here, um, it's called Play Octopus. The basic idea behind Play Octopus, it says, rideshare drivers get free tablets, remounts, and free LTE data. Plus earn up to $100 a month for driving with the tablet. So it shows here on the website a fake ass person trying to say this thing is great. Um, but I'm gonna be that real dude. It says their content is games, exciting games with the chance to win daily cash prizes for passengers. Driver extras, where it reminds people to tip, driver profiles, etc., which is actually really cool. It has interactive ads, short ads allow us to provide free tablets and give drivers cash rewards. So by them playing advertisements in your back seat, that's why we're getting this free and that's why we're able to get paid. That aside, I think this sounds pretty legit. Most things I don't want to look at my car as like a billboard, because my car is not a billboard, but I am trying to make money. So I'll, I'm willing to promote someone's brand, but they got to be willing to, you know, pony up the dough. So let's take a look and see what the Play Octopus has in store. So the process took about, I'd say, two weeks for, from me signing up to getting it in my hands. So it took a little bit, they eventually approved me, they shipped it for FedEx, and uh, here we are. So, so right off the bat, we got a little book. It says, let's play. It says, welcome to the Octopus family. The Play Octopus game tablet is designed to enhance the rideshare experience, creating a more memorable trip for each passenger. Providing an enjoyable journey helps encourage riders to leave you a higher rating Give larger tips and write better reviews. So don't wait, set it up now, and remind your passengers to play Octopus. Now let's get started. So first they give you instruction on how to set up the tablet and how to set up the headrest, mount, whatever you want to call it. Next page shows you how to use it. Next is talk about updates, yada, yada, yada. So I'm sure you guys get the idea of what's going on here. But as much as we don't want our cars to be billboards for these companies, you know, this is going to make you money. So it's one of those things where you got to yeah, fight the bull and make some money. So here's our book. Next comes with the Powerline Micro USB by Anchor. Next is a 24 watt power drive two car charger. Sweet. Next we have smartphone and tablet PC car headrest mount by TFY. And last but not least, Last but not least, we have our tablet. So it's some type of LG. Power it on, see what happens. So their service provider is Sprint. All right, so it turned on and it looks like it's going straight to a web page or something Play Octopus related, which is very cool. Let's turn up the volume. Right off the bat, it's asking, what's the capital of the US? I'm gonna choose Washington, DC. Now I got one point. Which pop star released the hit, Oops, I Did It Again? Well, it definitely was not Beyonce, so I'm gonna go with Britney Spears. What game show used the catchphrase, is that your final answer? Pretty sure it's who wants to be a millionaire. What's the largest planet in the solar system? Guys, come on, this ain't cool. Yeah, do you expect it? I don't know the answer to this. I'm gonna say Jupiter. And I was right. Before adopting the euro, Germany used what type of currency? Uh, Deutschmark. Who played Neo in The Matrix? Keanu Reeves. What famous actor became governor of California in 2003? Arnold Schwarzenegger. Named a presidential mountain retreat in Maryland. Right, this is getting ridiculous. Camp David it was, uh, I was right. Who seduces Benjamin Braddock in The Graduate? Mrs. Brooks? Oh no, it's Mrs. Robinson. I made a top ten, it says. Lucky me. It says, congrats, enter your initials. So, and it looks like I'm number three in today's leaderboards. Leaderboards. Okay, but now what's next? So now there's like a photo hunt where the passenger picks out what, what's wrong with the one picture kind of thing. 
Also pretty damn cool. You hit the bottom, get a bio at the driver. But well, that's pretty cool. Like so, if a passenger does win a game, or somehow, some way, they win twenty-five dollars, which is a pretty damn good incentive if you're a passenger. So after that one game, and now an ad's playing, this thing's pretty damn cool. Like I'm not about, I'm not into having a bunch of nonsense in my car, but this really does seem like it could make your tips go up. And not, only, not or not even so much your tips go up, but it just seems like the rider experience is way better using this. And it might even shut them up or make it like an awkward ride less awkward. And right there it said we appreciate your tips. But lastly, it gives you three games to choose from. It gives you trivia, a photo hunt game, or a speed match game, whatever that is. If you guys have a play octopus tablet, have any tips that I need to know about, let me know in the comments. So far this thing seems like it's actually the real deal. It's like it actually might do some good. If you've gotten the tablet and it was just a big waste of your time, definitely let me know. If you've gotten the tablet and it somehow costed you money for somehow, some reason, please let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to check me out on Instagram at the NJ Chef. Leave a like and subscribe because that's what keeps this content rolling in. And as always, drive on.